reports the location of the ambulance that was hijacked by Danny has been found. Monroe orders his team including Mark to chase the ambulance, and ask the head office to increase the helicopter fleet so as not to lose track. In the ambulance, Zach's condition seems to be getting worse. Cam and Danny help each other put on medical equipment while Will continues to drive away from the police. Luckily, after various attempts were made, Zach was saved. Danny then called one of his friends named Poppy. He asked Poppy to immediately prepare five ambulances to outwit the police for $8 million. Because Poppy is also a former robber, he understands how Danny is now. Without asking much, he agreed to help. They then made an appointment to meet under the city bridge. Danny then called the rest of his men in order to bring car paint under the city bridge. Meanwhile, Monroe asked headquarters to connect the walkie-talkie. With the walkie-talkie in the ambulance, he tells Danny to give up, saying that his escape attempt was in vain. Sooner or later he would be caught. Out of anger, Danny shouts saying that he is America's greatest robber. A small problem like this couldn't make him give up.